We've just come from an empty model at Emmett Court, and now we're here with Darius, who's purchased one of the homes at Emmett Court. And Darius, he has done a fabulous job at decorating his home. Um, he's done some very unique things with his home, and we're going to show you a little bit about how to, um, how to go about putting your home into a different perspective. Oh, uh, so thank Darius, you. so if you can just tell us a little bit um, about why and how you've gotten here. Uh, well, just like most people, you know, we want to try to make our home something different. Um, and the li living room is typically a room that uh, people don't use that often. Mm -hmm. So we tried to be creative and tried to figure out how could we make it more appealing. So uh, we used to live in South Africa and uh, we had the opportunity to meet a tremendous amount of talented uh, artists, uh, both in stone, wood, and uh, other areas. And, um, so we just kind of like bought and we used to own a gallery called Port Africa, mm -hmm. uh, which was located in the South Plainfield. And uh, after the gallery closed down, we sort of like had this mindset of what we wanted to do with our home. So basically this is what it is. Uh, uh, we try to display uh, very middle to high end type of art and not your normal uh, flea market type of uh, items. Um, going through Darius's house, there are, there's many interesting pieces of art. Um, so, what did you do? Did you import them here from from Africa, or these? Or was this in your travels you found them? Well, I used to uh, actually import containers, okay. and and in doing so, I would go around to the different uh, tribes and villages in South Africa. Uh, actually, primarily a lot of the items came from Johannesburg, although we actually ventured into uh, Cape Town, uh, Zimbabwe, um, Lesotho. So a lot of the parts, because in Africa you have to travel to certain destinations because many of the talented artists. They don't have the money or the finance or the knowledge of uh, how to bring their uh, art to the people or to in the mainstreams of where most of the tourists go. So you try to uh, venture away from the tourists in, into the actual townships and this is where you can sort of like seek out things that are just absolutely fabulous uh, uh, and very different. Okay. So what you've done here with this artwork that you've, that you've collected is you've made a great um, conversational room. You have all different kinds of artwork, and I would really love us to, um, to yeah. show the public what it's Absolutely. all about. Absolutely. Please feel free. That's not a problem. So what are we looking at now? This piece is actually from Zimbabwe. It's actually called, called a family piece. And typically it comes in either a, a man and a woman or many times you can find it with kids actually as a family of two, three, or four, uh, as many. So uh, very, very nice piece. And the reason I really focus then on this piece is because if you look on the outskirts, it's the rough rock uh, that's actually, it's the, the natural rock, rather. And in the center was where the artist really tried to focus on on the actual message that he was trying to send. Tell us a little bit about the table and the animals that are on it. Uh, well, the animals are on it. They're actually a stone that's called verdike. Uh, it's a very rare stone, uh, typically found in the uh, southern part of South Africa. Uh, a lot of the artists really like to use the, this particular stone because it's sort of, sort of like a soft stone, but it's very, very rare. So uh, as time goes by, hopefully anyone who have any type of verdike pieces uh, is going to, going to increase in value. The actual chess set that's made from a village in uh, Johannesburg. Uh, it's a bunch of ladies uh, who's from a village, but they travel and they live in, 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 in Johannesburg. And this, is, this was their creation because as the men travel and go away to work, often for days at a time, the women stay home, keep the family, but more importantly, they have to create ways of earning money themselves. So this was one of the things they do. And not only do they do individual chess sets uh, with different animals, peoples, things of that nature, and everything is hand, handmade and hand painted, uh, but they also do many other things. So what we try to do is we try to support them. Okay. It's very intricate work. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the baskets that are on the top shelf. Uh, the baskets are from Swa Swaziland, uh, is a country in the southern part of South Africa. And it's really amazing when you see the ladies uh, actually making these baskets. 
each one of the designs and each one of the colors represent uh, it's a symbol in their lifestyle, whether a person is single, whether they're looking for a husband, whether they're having kids or had kids. So it tells a story and uh, it's, the history of it is absolutely amazing. As you can see, they have a very interesting home with some very interesting artifacts. Um, but we're in the family room now, and Darius, I could see that you have taken over the family room. As we mentioned in the last house, Yeah. we have the television above yeah. the fireplace. So um, tell us a little bit about the, the construction of this home. Tell us what you think and why you bought this home. Well, you know, Piscataway is just a fantastic area. Um, and anytime you can get prime property in the township of Piscataway, uh, most people are very, very happy here. So we've been living in the township for many, many years. And when this property became available, uh, my wife and I said, let's go ahead and move forward. And, you know, thank God uh, he made things happen and uh, it was meant to be. And when we got it, we knew what we wanted to do with it. We want to make it different. We want, we want to make it something that when any time customers, excuse me, company come over, we, will, we want them to feel very, very comfortable when they come here. Terrific. We are a very comfortable person. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. Um, thank you very much for sharing your home with us. And um, if people are interested in learning more about African art or want to know anything about the African art, where, where can they reach you? How can they reach you? Um, most people just contact me through, through my website, which is, excuse me, not my website, but my email address, which is Darius, D-A-R-I-U-S, at Port Africa. P O R T A F R I C A dot com. Again, Darius at portafrica.com. Terrific. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was such a pleasure to meet you Absolutely. and your family. Thank you very, very much.